Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're still working our way through a super important concept for your science test and also for your math test, utilizing formulas. Let's take a look. It says scientists compute the density of an object by dividing the mass of the object M by its volume V. Compute the density in grams per cubic centimeter of an object with a mass of 28 grams and a volume of seven cubic centimeters. Now you might be thinking, what the heck are they talking about? This is so confusing. And for those students who think that, I've got great news for you. Even if you've understood very little of what you read here, oh, let's pull out our pen. So even if you understood very little of what you read here, this math formula says the exact same thing. It says to find the D, density of an item, take the M, mass, and divide by the V, volume. That's it. Super simple mathematical directions. Okay, and so a very good idea whenever you're given a formula, the first thing you should do on your paper or on your dry erase board if you're taking your GED is just copy out the formula the exact way you see it. The next thing we'll do is we'll substitute in any known values. Well, right now the problem with this formula is it's all letters. We don't want letters, we want some numbers. So let's go find the numbers that these letters represent. So taking a look at this problem here, I see some numbers. First one I see is that I see that my object has a mass of 28 grams. Well, guess what? A mass of 28 grams, that's gonna be my N. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to rewrite my formula, but I'm going to substitute out that 28 for M. Notice when I plug in a 28, my M disappears. I'm substituting out the letter, which I used when a for when I don't know the number, for the number, because I know it. Once it's known, you don't need the letter anymore. Okay, and one more thing I see. I see that my um, object has a volume of seven cubic centimeters. A volume, V stands for volume in my formula, so I'm gonna plug in seven, seven cubic centimeters down there. Now, even if you're not very good, like scientists would usually include their units in their work. They would say that's 28 grams and that's seven cubic centimeters, but that's not such a big deal for the GED. Um, but I'll do it because that'll be coming in your high school chem or college chem classes. So um, I got there and now all I need to do to do this problem is to do the math implied here. It says take 28 divide by seven. I can do that. And even if I don't know my times tables, I could do that in my calculator. So I get four. And for what? For grams per cubic centimeter. And that's why I wrote my unit in there. Four grams per cubic centimeter. And that is the answer. And if it were on the GED, you'd probably just need the four to be perfectly frank. So, um, great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments. And pay attention to the next few questions of the day because we're going to develop this skill utilizing formulas uh, on the science test a little deeper than just this simple example.